Hi all, welcome to Show Studio's video review series. I'm Show Studio fashion editor Georgina Evans. As you can probably tell, I'm going to be reviewing Bottega Vanessa Spring Summer 20. This is the mammoth invitation that we got given, um, which is gold in kind of resin or glass. I have no idea, but it's going to make a great paperweight. Um, this gold is a bit of an indicator um, as to what we were going to see for the show. It also kind of released a few gold images on their Instagram. Um, not that the show was entirely gold, but just a little hint um, to some of the accessories. So, Bottega Veneta, Daniel Lee, this is his second collection um, at, at the house. The first collection sent everyone into a complete frenzy, for better or for worse. So I believe that was uh, June this year to June 2019. Um, and since then, everyone and their dog has been wearing Bottega and the Entrechiato, which I'm gonna butcher, I'm so sorry everyone who's watching, that Daniel redid into giant shoes and bags and clutches um, was just everywhere. His leather work people lost their minds for. So a very successful collection in terms of the fashion pack um, because literally everyone was wearing it. It was all over Instagram, so beautiful. Um, I myself absolutely loved the first collection that Daniel did, but a lot of people found it quite difficult to get a grapple on because it was quite, um, novelty because it was so new for Bottega taking the house codes and really putting them through a Daniel lens um, a lot of people found it quite difficult to grapple with um, and a lot of people said it was more an exercise in styling I would totally disagree purely because some of the fabrications were just fantastic really really beautiful um, funnily enough actually some of the people who really didn't like the first show were wearing head to toe Bottega at this show so just goes to show 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 um, so yes, speaking on that, so that this collection was very much a continuation of the previous collection um, in the sense that it still had those kind of skeletal ideas but very much pared down into a much more refined, beautiful um, kind of aesthetic. So what I mean by that is the typical now Daniel Bottega codes that we've seen in the first collection very much still here. So there was still the Intratiato shoes which everyone's lost their minds for but with the double strap. There was still the same tones, the same colourways, those baby blues, those rich chocolates, the kind of tapioca colour, um, but in a much more simpler silhouette and a simpler finish. Much less um, accessorising, although there were some chunky gold necklaces and chunky gold straps on bags that were worn in a really nice kind of strapping way under the elbow so that part of the bag um, could be clutch or grab, grabbed onto, you know, when they have that real fist as models walked, which I really loved. Um, those bags as well, the um, Intrachiato, intra which I keep saying, um, done really, really tightly, almost woven, um, done massive again, as we've previously seen. Boho bags were huge and sweeping, and the Intrachiato was so loose that it almost looked like snake skin, which I thought was a brilliantly clever move. Um, previous items that we've seen before that were repeated here, long, long line leather shorts, um, some coating that we'd seen before, but generally speaking it was just so much more simpler and I don't mean that in a derogatory way as in simple basic, I mean simple as in your eye just focused on the fabrication, on the cut, on the light accessory and what I really loved was that everything was done through that simple vein, it was just so real and honest, so the makeup, the hair of models was just straight down the back, barely any layers, just literally block cut and there was barely any jewellery, if anything tiny little blue stud is all I noticed on a, um, on a female model's ear, but that kind of paired backness really just lets the reality of these clothes shine, whereas the previous collection some people might have felt like they couldn't put themselves in there, they couldn't fit themselves into that narrative. There's no doubt in my mind that this collection is the collection that um, kind of answers all those doubts. It was so beautiful and some of the fabrications even tricked the eye. The leather work of course is paramount to Bottega, but some of the items I kept looking and saying, oh, is that leather? Because it's awfully thin. And then you'd think, oh, actually, that's a slightly waterproof material or that's a um, Parker-like material or that looks like a nylon. And also putting fabrications that are in unusual um, scenarios, if that makes sense. So what looks like a waterproof is in this really buttery leather. And likewise, what looked like a leather short was in a slightly kind of vinyl-esque material. And that's just the brilliance of what Daniel does. And he was saying backstage that what he loves is just being in the studio with models and playing with um, playing with designs and just being there, being hands on. And he's just so earnest backstage when he talks about it. It's just wonderful to hear someone so passionate just say things so matter of factly, like, of course, 
you know, there's no difference in designing men's and women's, so they're the same thing, you know, you design the same. And just that honesty and rawness really comes out in this collection. I was so, so thrilled. I love that the shoes are here to stay, that in, um, there's almost bubbly shoes that everyone is now obsessed with. Um, because what, what that does is that makes it less gimmicky. So whereas the first collection felt a little, could feel a little, I certainly didn't feel this way, but could feel a little novelty and gimmicky because we'd never seen these items before, by reintroducing them continually throughout the seasons to come, they become a Bottega staple rather than a Bottega gimmick. So it then becomes something that you instantly recognise with the house and then it becomes a classic, um, which I really, really hope they do because I don't want anything about this to be to be seen as gimmicky because it's just so entrancingly beautiful. Um, the music as well, the casting was fantastic. It just felt so... Um, just that right balance between lofty and relatable, which I guess is coming from Daniel's um, experience at Celine, because I feel like Celine always had that slight um, balance to just about lofty, just about approachable. Um, so yes, absolutely, absolutely thrilled. And I'm just going to close with a line um, from their press release, which says, Bottega Veneta is about the individual, it's for you. And that's signed Daniel Lee, which I just think kind of sums it up, really. It's just a real but beautiful and wonderfully curated and designed collection. I would love to touch some of those fabrications. I bet they are incredible. Um, so yes, yes, gushy old me. Um, sincere apologies, I have a cold, so if you've heard me um, be a bit sniffly throughout, uh, that is my fault. Uh, Fashion Week flu has caught up with me. Um, but let me know what you thought of Bottega. Comment down below, did you prefer this season? Did you prefer his first season? Um, fill me in. Um, so like, comment, subscribe if you're watching through YouTube and make sure to go to Show Studio so you can see this entire wonderful collection alongside all of our other coverage, including this rather gushy review. Um, speak soon.